Mr. Vice President, uh, really quickly, because it's been hammered to, to pieces, but uh, Attorney Zadi, can we just call it what it is, housing for Boston? It doesn't matter the communities, they don't care, because if they wanted us to make affordable housing on the MBTA, they'd take into consideration bus routes and trains. Mm -hmm. It's a half, an, a half a mile within a train station so that the people can live here, walk to Carter Street, get on the commuter rail, and head to Boston to work. And then leave Boston and come back here with total disregard for anything other than Boston. They, they, they don't have housing in Boston anymore, so now they're gonna come in and try to disrupt the communities that are here. And to the Ward 3's counselor's point, going to Lincoln and Weston and Wayland and Sudbury doesn't convenience them because there isn't anything out there for them as far as supermarkets and stuff. It's very rural. But here, within 10 minutes, I have everything I need, dry cleaners. We love our community for that reason. To the at-large or by rights point, it's not making it affordable. The issue was we can't afford it. I, I see the news. Massachusetts in the Northeast has some of the highest rents in the country. In the country. Think about that for a second. It's us in California, and the rents are astronomical. I mean, to the t like double what most areas are. So I, I, I laugh at that point. One question is, what are the consequences if we don't comply? Again, at the present time, the statute specifically states that the city, not the housing authority, the city would not be eligible for any m money from the three funds I identified. Okay, so that's the only that's consequence. That's it at this point. However, DHCD has made it clear that you can't just ignore it because you think it's not going to hurt you as a community. It is a requirement. The statute says you shall. So currently, so currently the fine would be $100,000 not go, going to the housing authority, authority by not doing this. That's for, this for, for today, for today. On the flip side, if I add, uh, what did we say, 3,982 units, the flip side isn't $100,000, it's increased fire, increased police, increased mm -hmm. EMT, um, increased congestion on my roads, um, just to name a few. So part of rezoning and, and merging of lots, do they take into account, like we do a really, really